Hi, I'm Candice Bacillier, the Marketing Director with Forklift International. And today, Joel Crawford, our Operations Manager, is going to show us how to install a set of tie downs. Joel has been with the company for more than 11 years. He began in production, he worked in shipping and receiving, he moved on to administration, and he also worked in research and development. So we're really lucky to have him here today. Joel? Absolutely. Uh, today we're going to be doing an install on a 2005 Ford F-350 long bed uh, without running boards. Uh, the truck is equipped with a super hitch magnum in the rear. Um, this is a good example of how you should be receiving your unit. Um, if you look, the box is, has been tagged with a white label. It covers all three flaps of the box to ensure that the box has not been opened through distribution or through a dealer. Um, if you look right here, it has a date on it So when it was boxed. It has an actual number of the actual packager and it has a weight of the box to ensure that all the parts are in the unit. So what do you do if you find that the box looks like it might have been opened? You will want to contact your dealer right away uh, to ask them to see if you can open it up to ensure all the parts are actually in there. Worst case scenario, contact us 800-246-8132. We will be able to help you out. So what should we find inside the box? Inside the box, you will have both left, our driver and passenger rece uh, receivers, two inserts, all your bolts, um, instructions on how to install the unit, and so forth. All right, so what's inside the box? Well, after you have determined that the box is okay, you can cut it open. And you will find both a bolt kit and the instructions. First thing you will do is you will make sure that your part number on the instructions matches your box. You may find in some cases that the actual years fitment of the, of the unit you have purchased may not match to your, your truck. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of tie down kits are sitting out there on distribution and they, they could be there for a year or more and we update these constantly. So what you'll do, you'll pull out your bolt kit, you open your, your instructions up, and you just check your bolt kit to the actual instructions. Make sure your receivers are in there, all hardware, inserts, and you're good to go. Okay, so looks like we got a couple other things inside this box. Absolutely. You have an insert, times two, both driver and a passenger. You're going to have the actual receiver unit for a driver and a passenger. So is it necessary to drill while installing tie downs? We have about 130 different applications, 98% of which there is no drilling. Great. So what's the first step in the install? The first step, we were on the passenger side of this truck, the 2005 F-350 long bed. I would first locate your cab mount, your rear cab mount, which is this unit right here. Directly behind that, your bed will start. This is your bed hat cross mount. This is where our front unit's installed to the frame. You will, in this specific unit, you will grab your hook bolt with a four inch grade eight bolt. You will go up behind the frame and it latches on, it slides right on. Next step, you will take the frame unit, you will place it up over that bolt. You will grab your second hook bolt. It too slides directly over the frame and there's already pre-existing holes. You will put two flat washers onto the grade eight bolt. One lock washer, half inch lock washer. And then you will thread on a half inch grade eight nut. And you will leave these hand tight. This is to ensure the frame unit does not come off the frame and cause any injury. Now the tie down can be let go, it will not come off the frame. <clears throat> Your last step for the specific unit, you will start a half by two with two half inch flat washers, a one by two plate washer on the inside, a half inch lock washer, and a half inch nut. 
just snug everything down. Like I said, you want to do hand tight on all the uh, all the hardware so that you can still move the tie down around if need be. <clears throat> like I said before, you can use just basic hand tools. Um, I'm going to be using an impact set to a specific torque rating, which will be inside your inside your instruction book. After this one is torqued down, move your next bolt. And then the final is the top third bolt, top of the frame. And she is snug down. After everything is torqued down to the specific ratings, you will insert your insert. Pending how far your turnbuckles come down, you have two separate locations to pin. Your first and your second. I'm going to go ahead and just put it into the first. And she's locked and ready to go. One key fact to installing your front tie downs, the bullet plate always faces towards the front on your front units. In the rear, it will face towards the rear. You have two locations to hook your turnbuckle to. You want to get the most pulling angle forward in the front and in the rear these will be flipped backwards and you'll get the most pulling towards the rear. You have two stickers in your front kit. There is a driver and a passenger front sticker. We did the passenger install so you will install the passenger front sticker. This specific install took me 20 minutes. If you guys have any issues installing this tie down call 1-800-246-8132. We'll be happy to help. Joel, I hear there's a difference at times between passenger and driver's side tie down installs due to the fuel tank. What do you do to manage that? Yeah, absolutely. There's a times when you can't really get your hands behind the frame. So we have this little tool, which is called our bolt fisher. You screw it right onto the, to the two inch bolt, just get it kind of snug. And then what you do, take your, your hardware, whether it be a star washer, flat washer, you, you fish those on there as well. Be sure to not get the washers all the way onto the bolt. You wanna let them hang like that right there. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bolt fisher end that does not have the spring or the bolt and you fish it into the frame. You'll pull it up. You will take the washers and you push the washers in through first. The bolt second. And you pull them all the way through. When you are doing your install, be sure to leave the bolt fisher hanging so that the bolt does not fall back into your frame. Very, very important. Just let it hang there. And that's so it. we're going to do an install of a rear tie down. What is the first step? This is a typical install for a rear tie down with an open ended cross tube. In this case, this is a super hitch magnet. I have already removed the rib neck bolt from this hole. <clears throat> I will then grab my rear tie down, slide it into the cross tube. The hole will line up. I reinsert the rib neck bolt. Lock washer on the rear. And finally the nut. Just want to get it finger tight. Again, you can use hand tools. I am using an impact wrench. And then open it and wrench on the roof back. Take your insert. Be sure you have the passenger. The bullet will face towards the rear on the rear tie down. Slide it in. I'm going to go to hole number two. Snapper pin all the way through. Lock it down. And finally, your sticker. It says passenger rear on the, on the sticker itself. And that's the install. So now that we've finished up our tie down install, where can I get a set of tie downs? We have over 2,500 viewers, uh, both US, Canada, Japan, uh, Europe, Australia. Uh, they should be able to get it to you overnight. A lot of viewers will not stock them because they're very vehicle specific. Um, but like I said, you can't get them overnight. Great. And how do you care for your tie downs? 
We have a nifty little kit called our finishing kit. Um, both, <clears throat> you'll see in the rear of the tie down, it's a straight tube. You will insert in the back of the tie down the piece of foam. The front will end with the cap. This will keep mud, debris, everything out of the inter interior of the actual receiver. If you cannot get to the rear of the tie down because it is installed, you can take the foam and actually insert it to the front of the tie down and push it through with an extension towards the rear. The tie down finishing kit is actually one of our new products and you'll learn about our new products in the back of our instruction manual. You will also find the warranty registration card in the back. You can go to corpolis.com slash warranty to register for your lifetime warranty. You can call us, you can email us at warranty at corpolis.com and you can fax it to us and all of that information is right here. Remember, if you have any issues whatsoever with an install, you can call 1-800-246-8132. We always have live technical support. You can also visit torquelift.com, full dealer locator, as well as all of our app guides. Thank you very much.